How to Understand Football. How to Understand Football is brought to you by Video Jug, host of one of the world's largest, most all encompassing libraries of factual content online. Video Jug, life explained on film. Hello, welcome to Video Jug. I'm Chad Logfellow, and with me, as always, is Rudy Gabowski. And this is How to Understand Football. That's right, Rudy. Football's a very complicated game to play, and there's a slew of rules that need to be followed. Yeah, if you're new to the sport, the whole thing can seem really confusing. <laughs> That's right, Rudy. That's why we're going to walk you through the steps of a basic football game. Step one, what's the point? Football is played between two teams, and the object of the game is to score more points than the other team. At any point during the game, one team is in possession of the ball. They're the ones that are trying to get the ball into the end zone. Now, they're the offense. The other team is the defense. They're defending that end zone, and they're trying to keep the team with the ball out. The team on offense tries to advance the ball either by running the ball on the ground or throwing the ball through the air. A game begins with one team kicking the ball to another. Who kicks to who, and which team will defend which side of the field is decided by a coin toss. Step two, first and ten. When a team's offense first goes onto the field, they get four chances to make 10 yards. Each chance is called a play or a down. It starts when the ball is snapped to the quarterback, and he might give it to a running back, or he might try and throw it. But when anyone with a ball gets tackled or goes out of bounds, that play is over. At that point, the game is on pause until the next play begins. The ball is marked by the officials at the end of each play, and that's where each play is picked up from. Coincidentally, Rudy, that line is called the line of scrimmage. But you know, football is not just about gaining a few yards here or there. A team can score at any time. Yes, they can, Rudy, but 10 is the magic number. Every time a team gets 10 yards, they get a new set of downs. Now, if a team can't gain 10 yards on three downs, they use that fourth down to kick the ball. Football is all about field position, and any coach is going to tell you the closer you start to your opponent's end zone, the better chance you have on scoring. Well, this is why teams on their fourth down kick that ball so far away to make sure their opponents don't have a very good chance of scoring on their end zone. Uh, by the way, that fourth down kick is called a punt. Step three, touchdown. First, there's a touchdown. That's when a team crosses the goal line into the end zone with the football. And that's worth seven points. Well, actually, Rudy, it's only worth six. Uh, after a team scores a touchdown, they get to kick a field goal from the two-yard line for what's called an extra point or a point after touchdown. Now, that's worth one point if that ball flies through that big yellow U at the back of the end zone. Goal post, Chad. A team can also forego a, a PAT and, and go for a two-point conversion. That's when they line up just like a regular play from the two-yard line and try to cross that goal line again. But that rarely happens. Step four, other ways to score. If a team gets close to a touchdown, doesn't make it, they could choose to kick a field goal. That's worth three points, always. That's right. The only other way to score is what's called a safety. And that's real special because it gives points to the defense. Uh, safety occurs when an offense is tackled in their own end zone. It's worth two points, and it's rare. <laughs> That's how you score. That's not how I score. <laughs> uh, I was Chad Longfellow. This was Rudy Gabowski, and this was How to Understand Football. Thank you very much, and uh, good night, ladies and gentlemen.